Potholes are a pain for drivers, especially after a heavy rainstorm and flooding like what we've seen this week. Action is now reporter Lauren Cooper is live in Chico. So Lauren, what kind of plan does the city have to address the pothole problem? Well, the city will be paying for new road work with money brought in from Measure H's 1% sales tax. Right now, the streets on the city's fix-it list are East Lassen Avenue, El Paso Way, East East Avenue, and Upper Park Road. Originally, Amber Grove was on that list, but council removed it after receiving more than two dozen complaints, saying it didn't look good to fix one of the nicer areas before fixing another street that's more in need. Keith Elliott looks at the potholes on his street as a blessing in disguise. Nothing too crazy, but like I'll throw a 180. If it's a really good day, maybe like a shove. He has mixed feelings about the city fixing his street's pothole problems. I don't know, they should fix all the streets, but this one's like, I mean, you could see right now, like, there's a bunch of nasty road all right here. Like, it's pretty turfed. Also, I kind of don't want them to, because, like, the housing's pretty cheap over here. So I do kind of like that. I feel like if they fix it, like, the price will go up. I've reached out to Chico Public Works to see if they have any ideas of what streets they'll be putting in place of Amber Grove and how much all of this is going to cost, but they haven't gotten back to me yet. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting live in Chico with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thank you, Lauren. Now the city will start fixing the roads in the summer.